Hello guys, welcome to online MBBS lectures. Today we are going to learn about stages of labor. So it consists of mainly three stages. So let's learn about the first stage. You know, so guys, sometimes there is also considered fourth stage. We will learn about that later. So what happens in the first stage is it starts from the onset of true labor pain and ends with full dilation of the cervix. So what happens? How it start? I start from the true labor pain. True labor pain. If you guys don't know, I have already explained about true labor pain in my last video. Uh, in normal labor uh, lecture. If you haven't seen that video, please check that video. You will understand this video better. So what happens in true labor pain is there is pain in the lower abdomen region and it radiates towards the inner thigh. Okay, and it ends with the full dilation of the cervix. So when it is considered as full dilation of service you can see here in the picture in the last picture you can see here fully dilated at 10 centimeter so 10 centimeter is usually considered a fully dilated and you know guys if you go in the hospital practice normally 8 centimeter is also taken as fully dilated okay in the hospital practice but we generally consider 10 centimeter as fully dilated and what is the average duration its average duration is 12 centimeter 12 sorry 12 hours in priming gravida and 6 hours in multipara. What is priming gravida and what is multipara? If you guys don't know, let me just uh, explain you little. Prime priming gravida are those women who has become pregnant for the first time, and multipara are those who has already given birth to baby more than once. So now comes the second stage. Okay, in second stage, what happens? It starts from the full dilation of the cervix and ends with expulsion of the fetus from the birth canal so after the first stage end which was a true labor pain to fully dilation of the cervix in the second stage what happens from full dilation of the cervix to until the expulsion of the fetus from the birth canal and its average duration is 2 hours in primary gravida and 30 minutes in multipara and you can see here in this picture how the this uh, delivery of the fetus takes place and we will make a separate video about the mechanism of the uh, delivery of the fetus in next le in next lecture in detail okay so you can just see here in the picture how it is delivered okay so now comes the third stage what happens in the third stage is it begins after expulsion of the fetus and ends with expulsion of the placenta and membrane after birth its average duration is about 15 minutes in both primary gravita and multiparas. The duration is reduced to 5 minutes in active management of third stage. And now come, sometimes you know fourth stage is also considered. And what happens in fourth stage is it is a stage of observation for at least one hour after expulsion of the placenta and membrane. So now let's recall the stages of labor. In true in first stages, in first stage of labor, what happens? There was uh, first stage of labor is from true labor pain to fully dilation of the cervix and second stage second stage what happens from full dilation of the cervix until the expulsion of the fetus and in third stage what happens from expulsion of the fetus to expulsion of the placenta and sometimes the fourth stage is we considered in which what happens observation observation at least one hour after expulsion of the placenta and so okay guys thank you hope you like this video and if you have any suggestions please comment in the comment box thank you see you in the next lecture